Welcome to PC Wits Gets Tech Talk. Today we're looking at part two of the HD7970 graphics card from Diamond Multimedia. This reference design using the uh, blower style fan here on the right is what I'm overclocking today in part two of my review. Now here are the defaults using a overclocking utility such as the Sapphire Trix utility. There's also one from MSI and there's other utilities all out there that allow you to overclock. Here are the system specifications that I'm using just so you know. And um, in this utility, basically, I'm going to use the simple controls to overclock it. And I've overclocked it to basically 200 megahertz more, a little bit more than 200 megahertz on the default GPU clock and memory clock. So basically, let me show you how I did it. I click on the overclocking option here and then I use the sliders to move up the values. Now, I'm overclocking smart here. I'm not going to increase the GPU voltage to overheat it. I'm only going to see how much I can get out of this card without increasing the voltage. And these are the two results that I got that kept me satisfied without really going crazy and uh, overheating the card. Okay, I left the fan mode at automatic. Now, of course, there are certain benchmarks, certain games that the load is really, really strong and you should increase the fan and not have it set on automatic. Okay, it should be at like 50% minimum, for example. But here, for some of my tests, I left it on automatic, saved the settings, of course, as a profile, so that way you could load it up every time I boot up the machine. So I click on save here and it saved the profile. And then next time I reboot it, it kept it. Now, let's go into some benchmarks on these overclocked settings. Now, when it comes to temperatures, temperatures were basically the same, okay? I mean, um, when I had it on default uh, clock settings, it was just a few um, uh, degrees cooler. So not too much of a difference because I didn't really increase the voltage. And that's key. Now, looking at some benchmarks in 3 Mark 11, you can see here 8889. And on the extreme 3D Mark 11 benchmark score, 3296. Now, here are, again, some scores so you can compare and see what I'm talking about, how great it did compared to the default scores that I got on this card earlier in my part one review. So substantial increase in performance, I would say anywhere from 10 to 15% minimum. Now, here it is, again, on 3D Mark Vantage. The GPU score is really what we're looking at. And here it is, a comparison of the GPU scores, again, from the default to the overclocked for the 7970, a substantial increase in benchmarks. Frames per second, when we're talking about Battlefield 3 here on the game, you can see here on average, I'm getting about 20 frames per second more, which is a huge difference when you're talking about um, having things on ultra high settings and um, your resolutions are really, really high. So terrific overclocking capabilities and that's on the reference design of this card of course there are other designs of this card out there with multiple fans and things like that this one is using the standard design so pretty impressive so far mass effect 3 again you can see here on average 15 frames per second more at least so that's pretty darn good compared to the default settings and again without increasing the voltage so again this gives you a good idea on how overclocking can be done easily without going crazy, without increasing the voltage. You know, if you increase the voltage and you do things like that, definitely you're, you're in the red zone. You know, you could void the warranty and burn your card and then they won't replace it, for example, right? So if you keep your voltages at stock and try just to increase only your core voltage and your memory voltage by just a couple hundred um, megahertz like I did you get great performance as you can see so I definitely recommend this card even though it's using the reference design it still does cool pretty good and you might have to increase uh, the uh, fan speed for some games but hey that's what you get with the reference design and I'd like to thank Diamond Multimedia for providing it and I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching